products. Abigail Doolittle is with us here on this Friday afternoon. She's here with us every day at this time for our Options Insights segment. And Abigail, the word to, I guess, to describe this week is volatility. It, it certainly is. That VIX at one point almost at 40, now below 30. The VVIX, very elevated, but coming in up, down, up, down right now, up for stocks, but down on the week, as you were mentioning. But tech in particular, very volatile. Interesting to me, tech right now on the week is actually up. I wouldn't have expected that. But down on the week, Kevin Kelly, CEO of Kelly ETFs, and thanks so much for joining us. Happy Friday to you, is the communication services tech segment along with consumer discretionary. So there's really seems to be a bit of a divergence in different types of technology. What are you seeing here? Yeah, what was most pronounced today was was that the XLK, which is the tech sector of Microsoft and Apple, crossed its 200-day moving average, and you're seeing about 1.6 times the amount of calls versus puts. Conversely, if you look over to the XLC, that's your Google and that's your uh, that's your Meta, Facebook. It's seeing eight over eight and a half times the amount of puts being traded versus calls. So not all tech is be, being created equal. You're seeing actually Google is trading below its 200-day moving average. So there could be some uncertainty around their earnings or just in general, just tech hedging. So if you're willing to put new money to work uh, and they're doing it in the option space, they're doing it via the tech sector, the, the, the names that have already reported and had great earnings. Visa is another name in the XLK that has done exceptionally well. I mean, it's it's trading above its moving moving averages now. So the next name to report in the XLK is NVIDIA on the 16th is trading around its 200-day moving average. So so that's where investors are putting their bets in tech land. Yeah, chips really getting hit. So maybe there's the possibility that there could be some upside to the surprise. And we were just looking at a year-to-date uh, board, uh, Kevin, that was showing us that the XLK down more than the XLC on the year. So is that catch-up potential there? Yeah, that, that, that's absolutely catch up potential because they, they were sort of bearish on it, right? If you, th- if you look at the valuation and fundamentals of it, it's still trading at elevated earnings. So you're still paying above average market multiples. I mean, uh, you know, you look at Microsoft, you're looking at Apple. Apple is still trading above about 30 times forward earnings. So if you look at that and you're saying, okay, yet we have interest rates going up, it's really priced for perfection, but there's certainty in their earnings. And especially because interest rates really don't impact them. They have, pretty much all cash on their balance sheet and they're getting aggressive into being opportunistic. And then very quickly, Kevin, you, of course, were the person to first uh, talk to me about the VIX or that VIX of the VIX, that intraday volatility. But we also have the VIX in right now, that NASDAQ 100 tech uh, VIX, and it is at 34, so a little bit more elevated. Do you expect that to come in based on what you're saying about some of these high quality tech names uh, perhaps being bought up? Yeah, so what we're really looking at is that we're, we're outside the one standard deviation from historical norms on volatility. And if you get three days closing above that, you start to see that, that, uh, uncertainty and volatility starts coming down. So we're actually seeing, um, a sort of a bottoming formation, um, and, and certainty coming back into the marketplace, uh, vis-a-vis the VVIX, where it's starting to come down. That's showing that capitulation, that uncertainty within volatility, as well as you're seeing, uh, VIX even trading above 20 28, which is one standard deviation above the historical norm of 20. So you get three days to close about that. Mm-hmm. It tends to come back down. And so with VXN trading where it's at and the certainty around Microsoft and certainty around Apple, the two biggest stalwarts yep. in there, you're seeing a good opportunity for a bottom bottoming Thank phase here. Thank you to Kevin Kelly for joining us for Options Insight. Romain, back to you. All right. We're waiting to hear from the president of the United States.